Hi guys, Drew with Drew Talks. Took a break from my gardening today to pop on here and make a really quick video about a development with Montana Libertarian Party. On the east side of the state, which is the District 2, we have a race happening with a Democrat, Republican, and Libertarian on the ticket. Now, on the 8th, which was last Monday, the Montana Libertarian Party put out a tweet and it says, we want to make it known that we do not endorse Sam Rankin for Congress. And despite him sharing the name of our first very important anti-interventionist Congresswoman, we do not consider him a libertarian. Sam Rankin is an ESG socialist running in our name. This is 100% true. Um, I do not know Sam Rankin personally, so I cannot speak to his character as a human being. But I do have to tell you, Sam Rankin is not a libertarian. Libertarians have many, many different viewpoints on the world. We have different ideas how to achieve our goals. That's fine. We allow diversity. Um, but the problem it, with Sam Rankin is he has almost no libertarian viewpoints in what he believes. So for him to pop on our ticket as a libertarian, he is not gonna get endorsed by this board. I was part of the vote to not endorse Sam Rankin and I stand by it 100%. So I'm gonna go over some reasons why we refuse to endorse Sam Rankin. And despite him running as a libertarian, he is definitely not one. So Sam Rankin, here he is, he's a Billings realtor and attorney. Um, and it goes into his bio. I'm not that interested in that. What I'm interested in is his policies. That's where the real meat is. And just so you know, libertarians have the best informed voters. Um, so this is what our people are gonna be looking at and they aren't gonna like what they see. All right, Sam Rankin. Question, polls indicate many Americans are concerned about the integrity of the nation's democratic institutions. Both as a political candidate and as a potential member of Congress, what can you do to promote Montana's faith in American democracy? And he answers, first, I would hold accountable those involved in the January 6th coup attempt. Okay. For all of 2020, America burned in mostly peaceful protests. The January 6th coup attempt is a ridiculous circus they are putting on TV. For me personally, I feel like the January 6th trials are the um, war on terrorism come home to roost. It's the Patriot Act turned on Americans. Um, I'm sorry. People are all worked up about the hallowed halls of democracy. There is nothing more sacred about the capital of DC than all those business owners whose businesses burned while the state did nothing during 2020. I don't feel that bad that Nancy Pelosi's podium was stolen. Um, anyway, he goes on and on, um, stopping big tech, da da da. But then this last one, third, all of us should honor democracy by defending it and debating it. Yeah, see, the problem with that is this is somebody who's completely out of touch with what's been happening for three years because we haven't been allowed to debate anything. We have been shut down, censored. Um, I know, and that wasn't because big tech was deciding to do it. That was big tech and government working together to silence anyone who questions their narrative. Uh, they ask him about health care. Um, of course, his solution is more funding and programs. Housing, his solution is more programs. Climate change, this is when it gets good. Sam Rankin, it overshadows all issues. I support the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission's requirement on publicly traded companies to disclose climate risks, such as greenhouse gas emissions. Investors can make informed decisions and want it. Some companies already publish the data. Then he goes on that he thinks every school 
needs to be revamped. He also thinks all 500,000 school buses in Montana need to be electric. And then I support part of the Build Back Better bill regarding the Civilian Climate Corps. It is similar to the program in the 1930s under the New Deal, which trained and employed young people to improve public lands. Oh my gosh. Okay, just so everyone knows, FDR and his New Deal were terrible. It was absolutely terrible, some of the stuff in the New Deal FDR did. Democrats love him. I don't love him. I think he was possibly one of our worst presidents. Um, the internment of the Japanese Americans just speaks loads to the character of FDR. His New Deal kept us in a Great Depression longer than we needed to be. He was into funny money and he did not respect private property or personal liberties at all, which is key to being a libertarian. All right. Do you see reigning in the federal debt as a priority, Sam? Sam Rankin, it's a priority, but not my highest. Oh my gosh, our overspending is one of the biggest problems we have with big government. It's huge because they can print money. It needs to be reined in. How selfish of us to not only spend our money, but our children's, grandchildren's, great-grandchildren's, this is the way you head to an economic crash. Libertarians have got economics right for 50 years, but not Sam Rankin. Fe uh, let's talk about federal lands in Montana. Sam Rankin, we need to keep them out of the hands of profit seekers. What do you see as the single most significant issue facing Montana's public education system? Low teacher pay, really, that's what's facing our public education system. All right, I think if we had private education, uh, the institutions would have to compete and have competitive wages for the teachers and everyone would benefit. But uh, don't let the unions hear me say that. Oh, let's talk about Second Amendment right. They ask, what changes, if any, would you like to see to current federal regulations regarding firearm ownership? Sam Rankin, ghost guns are a problem. No, they aren't. The ATF and FBI are a problem, not ghost guns, darling. There are too many deaths from firearms. The public wants reasonable restrictions. And then finally, last thing, he asked if they think that marijuana should be illegal at the federal level, and he said yes. So there we go. We got one. We got one winner right there. <sighs> Here's the thing. If you are going to run as a libertarian in the state of Montana, we have open primaries. You can go in, register as a libertarian, and run as one. Here's how the party works for endorsing candidates. Before the primaries, the Montana Libertarian Party cannot endorse anybody on that ticket. Uh, we can't pick our winner before the public has had a vote. After the primaries, when the top runner for that ticket comes out on front, the Montana Libertarian Party votes for who we endorse. Historically, we've endorsed everyone, most parties, in fact, all parties do. But we are doing things different now. Here's the thing. Just because you want to be on the ballot does not mean you just go register as a libertarian and try to run on that ticket because we will drag you through the mud. Sam Rankin is not a libertarian. We do not endorse him. His viewpoints have no place in the Montana Libertarian Party, and that is the way it is. So, if you want to join MTLP, we welcome you. We have so many wonderful people. We are having a blast in this state spreading liberty. We want you to run. We want you to be involved in your county. We want all that stuff. But if you're Bernie Sanders of Montana, 
we probably do not want you. Socialism is theft. Taxation is theft. Big government is not what libertarians are about. We do not encourage the government to have more and more and more power. We want people to be free. Do what you've agreed to do. Don't infringe on people or their property. That is how simple it is. All these policies involve violent robbing of people to redistribute their money so these politicians can get elected again or push whatever pet projects they have. It is immoral and this is why I proudly voted to not endorse Sam Rankin on the Libertarian ticket for Congressional District 2 for 2022. And I say that quite firmly as the vice chair of the Montana Libertarian Party. If you have any questions, put them in the comments, like, share, dislike. And um, yeah, this is how we run things now. Do not park on our ballot if you are not Libertarian. Thank you.